Joining us this morning, uh, one of our one of our he's he's new to the caller, uh, new to the hotline here, but uh, definitely not new to the show. Uh, what's going on, Fish? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I, I know what I know. One thing: back when I was managing HVAC parts department, you got to be careful what you say behind the wall because people don't really see what you're doing. I had this young fella working with me. We were putting up in some shifts, and uh, I was against the wall holding the shelf, and it was these push-in brackets. You know, you had to push them in to snap them in place, which I yelled out, Randy, push it a little harder. It's not going in. He said, I'm afraid I'll hurt you if I push any harder. Okay. Well, where, about where that we time, going, I heard everybody, well, I heard everybody outside laughing like crazy, <laughs> which I didn't realize exactly what it sounded like. What we're, so we're putting shelves together, honest. I mean, you know, really innocent stuff. Yeah, it sounds innocent. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it does sound innocent. <laughs> if you're in there watching, it is. But if you're outside, not yeah. Hanson. Yeah, that's uh, – well, hey, welcome. Wake up. Welcome this morning to uh, the risky version of Hometown Hard Bay. R- risky. Risky. Okay, we're uh, going we're gonna, to we're gonna cut it down a little bit. All right, now. cut her down. Land a plane. Bring it home. Okay. Clownfish. Did you know all clownfish are born male? Did you know that? Since I'm fish, you know, I can talk about Okay, fish. so all clownfish are born with one, there, there's no female clownfish. No. Uh, they turn female when they're allowed to relax. Well, when you get one that relaxes, it turns into female. They start breeding other clownfish, but they've got to terrorize them and keep them excited and completely humiliated to keep them from turning to a female. Wow. That sounds kind of like my wife. <laughs> she terrorized me. And, I, you know, that's why I saw my old buddy. You know, I know he's in control of his house because she's like, what's up, woman? I'm like, uh-uh, no, you didn't just go there. Oh, and I'll tell you something man. else you don't know. Oh, my goodness. Did you know goodness. seahorses? Did you know seahorses fertilize the female, and then she puts the eggs into the male's pouch, and he has to care them for four weeks? What if men did that? Oh, my. This race, we would be extinct right now. <laughs> yes. Extinct. Yes, you would. Oh, I didn't, I, here's one thing and, I didn't know. I didn't know clownfish could also be called the Caitlyn Jenner fish. <gasps> oh, yes, they can. I can't, I can't believe he got woman of the year. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> What is, is what's so... this world coming through? <laughs> Fish, I don't, I, I don't know, buddy. You ever go through a drive in just try to talk extra sexy, see if you can get extra stuff on your No, no, Fish. Bag. I can honestly say I've never I've never hit on the Chick fil A drive through people. I, well it wasn't Chick fil A, it was a burger joint. Oh. I went through there and I she said, Can I help you please? I said, Yeah, baby. I'd like to get a regular burger or hold the onions. <laughs> You'll never know who you're going to kiss later. You know what I mean? But, oh, my God. <laughs> what the hell? She's getting excited in a good way. I said, uh, could you give me an order of fries? Could you make them hot for me, baby? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I pull up to the window. I got a free coat. Okay. <laughs> you know, so I say, hey, this is working. So I go to KFC. Oh, didn't mean to say that. And I go through the drive through and I said, Hey, sugar, how's it going? I said, I want a two-piece snack. And it was a, a black lady. She said, boyfriend, you've got a sexy voice. I said, well, thank you, sweetheart. I pull up. I got a three-piece dinner with coleslaw, mashed potatoes with gravy, and baked beans in there. I won't keep trying to do that, by George. <laughs> we're talking. We're talking to Rico oh, Suave. Fish, fish. I don't know if anybody's yeah. ever told you this, but you're a freaking national treasure. Uh, well, we I'm need, out of here. I'm off. Uh, I'm we, off the chart. I'll try to tone it down tomorrow a little bit. On you know, <laughs> no more shelf building. But I will tell you about the airport on my honeymoon. Now this 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 is not trashy, okay? Right, me and my you got me a little wife. worried. We don't have a dump oh button, and gosh. we're not on a delay, so I'm terrified, but yeah. go ahead. Honey, I'm talking to a guy on the phone. Leave me alone. Okay. Now, anyway, we're on our honeymoon. Evidently, I got this kind of face that says, what are you looking at, huh? So they push me off into the nervous section because I go through the scanner, and the buttons go off. So I'm emptying my keys and everything off, and I still... 
beep, beep. Well, I had surgery on my hip, so I had a little metal plate put in there. Okay? Okay. So what you don't realize, they put me through the scanner. So we got these guys in in the other room. There's no insulation in there. It's going to be clean, trust me. He says, and I can hear them talking. Ted, come in here a minute. Yeah, what's up? Have you ever seen them on that small before? Uh, They're they're looking at my plate that I have in my hip. (laughs) I'm like, oh, Lord, God, please, no. Hurry up and get me out of here. Well, we we finally made it to Cozumel. We kept afraid for Cancun because it's a little bit too expensive. But we got a boat over there. (laughs) Anyway. I think, hey. I think Fish was at the Waffle House this morning. Hey, Fish, are you are you like are you incognito the cook from Waffle House? You oh, know, I'm drinking uh, coffee yeah. right now. Okay, <laughs> I, I, Fish, I, I feel like I feel like maybe if your if your nickname really is Fish, and there are people in the world that actually know you as Fish, you may have made a mistake. Uh, but no, I'm Should kidding. Should not come on the show. No, we love you. Should not come on now. We like all of no, Zach's it, it, in-laws to call in. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. okay. No, no inbreeding here. No in, but, but you know when I when I worked at that supply house, I did have guys that would come in that would be so distraught, and they would say, you know what, man, I was in having a really bad day. I come in here. I appreciate you, fish. I say, hey, you're welcome. Lose some weight. So, that, you know, you could say anything to them because they knew you were kidding with them, and that, and and and. <laughs> Myself, if I can make somebody smile or laugh, even with the kids at school, especially the ones that are mistreated, oh, God, I'm getting serious. If I find out a child, a boy or girl, is being mistreated at home, I give them a little extra attention. I, I cut up with them just a little bit more, just to make them feel like they have a nice, happy place they can be with, well, with me, at school. Let me just tell you something, Fish. Uh, thank, thank, you for yeah. your, thank you for your call, buddy. Uh, we appreciate it. And, and I, I tell you, you make, you make me – um, you make us laugh a lot. So, uh, consider your job, good job. Well done job. Well done, buddy. Uh, that's, uh, well, wow. Three days ago when that man called us for the first time, <laughs> I had no idea what we were in for, but let me tell you something. I love him. I know. I freaking love you did that. did forget guy. your reins this morning. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I just, Hey, you know what I did? I dropped him like Kamala dropped the ball last night. Oh, 